The O Cannabis Conference and Expo returns to Toronto June 1st through the 3rd, and there's still some good booth locations available. This exciting event is free for cannabis retailers, and will feature Tommy Chong receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award at the O Cannabis Industry Awards. For more information about exhibiting or to register to attend, go to ocannabis.com. That's O-C-A-N-N-A-B-I-Z.com. Today we're going to take a look at a report from Viridian Capital Advisors on their deal tracker to give us an idea of what's moving in terms of transactions and mergers and acquisitions, giving us an idea about the overall valuation for the industry. Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. So we're going to dive into some capital raises as well as uh, mergers and acquisitions, a report from Vid Viridian Capital Advisors. So first off, transactional activity for the end of October saw $20.4 million lower dollar volume and one less transaction versus the prior week of this year and 178% higher dollar volume with three more transactions than the prior year. So Viridian tracked five capital raise transactions totaling over 56 million versus the two transactions that were 20 million in the same week last year. The average tranche size was 11.3 million in that week versus just 10 million in the previous year period. So the largest capital raise happened on October 28th with Harvest Health and Recreation. They're the sixth largest US multi-state operator by market cap, they closed a previously announced round of $46 million, offering 20.3 million units at $2.26 per unit. So in terms of public versus private capital raise, all five of the capital raises were closed by public companies. And so far in 2020, public companies have accounted for 81% of all capital raises versus 65% for the same period in 2019. And then in 2020, public companies have accounted for 85% of all the dollar raises versus 68% for the same period last year. So for public company listings of the five publicly cannabis capital raises, all are listed in Canada, four on the Canadian Stock Exchange, one on the Toronto Stock Exchange, and all five are also traded on the over-the-counter OTC. Looking at equity versus debt, you can see that equity capital raise accounted for three of the five capital raises and 64% of the total dollar raised. The largest debt capital raise happened on October 21st with Columbia Care, the fifth largest multi-state operator by market cap. They completed a $20.4 million add-on issuance under its existing senior secured indenture. The bonds were also issued at a price of approximately 102% with a coupon of 13% and 26% coverage on warrants that are two and a half years in duration and have a premium of approximately 20% to the current stock price. Capital raises by sector, the five capital raises were spread across two different industry sectors within uh, four in cultivation and one in infused products and extracts. Moving on to mergers and acquisitions, we saw two merger and acquisition transactions unchanged from the prior period. And although the number of m and transactions completed year to date is down 75% to the comparable period in 2019, we continue to expect increased activity in the, for the remainder of the year. The largest M&A transaction occurred on October 26th with CloudMD Software, completing its purchase with 87.5% stake in Benchmark Systems. Public versus private M&As, both had uh, two acquisitions that were made by public companies and year-to-date 90% of all M&A transactions closed have been made public this year. That's up from 71% in 2019. Public companies, particularly with the recovery in stock price and fundraising ability, they've been dominant acquirers for the cannabis industry with private companies remaining the dominant target for acquirers. And looking at M&A by sector, one of the buyers in the transactions came from software and media and the other came from the hemp sector and targets came from software media and biotech pharma. With that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Hedge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or don't, and I'm out. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got. Hi, y'all. I'm Joe, host of Casually Baked, the podcast. If you're curious to explore the highly responsible side of cannabis, farming, and legalization, I'm here to help lighten the stigma and build your can of confidence. 
Download episodes now of Casually Baked the Podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. And journey with me through the evolving cannabis culture and discover how and why people like you are adding cannabis to their wellness toolkit. It's time to get casually baked.